Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Monday, July 27th, 2015, around 7.36 in the evening, Berwick, Massachusetts. It's a it's sunny out after some rain showers happened, heavy thunder showers. Uh, it's still humid out, and this is going to be the humidest and hottest week of the year in this area. Lots of 90s coming. Some news to report. The Boston Red Sox sends outfielder Shane Victorino to the California Angels, LA Angels of Anaheim, whatever they call them. And also, the New York Mets acquired closer Tyler Clip. Bond from the A's. The, the, the New York Mets are serious about making a run at the NL East title. And if they get to the playoffs, they have a, such a great pitching staff, they could go all the way. Like Chris Berman says, he could go all the way. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is the continuation is ex-player, a Hall of Famer. I've now reached Keith Kachuk, former N NHL left winger. He grew, grew up in Method, Massachusetts. Is Keith Kachuk a Hockey Hall of Famer? He played 17 seasons in the National Hockey League with the Winnipeg Jets slash Phoenix Coyotes, St. Louis Blues, and Atlanta Thrashers, who eventually became the new one, Winnipeg Jets. Keith had 15 seasons of 20 or more goals. Three seasons, he had 40 or more um, assist a seasons. Five times, he reached the 70-point mark. And five times, he played in the All-Star game. And, and tw twice, he was on the second All-Star NHL team postseason and he led the NHL in goals during the 1996-1997 season with 52. He was the first and only American born player to lead the NHL in scoring. That's amazing. And he was a very great sniper and stuff, very clutch in goals and stuff, scoring a lot of them. He reached the 500 um, gold plateau and stuff. He wore number seven for the Coyotes and Jets and also Blues and Thrashers. I even have a um, St. Louis Blues jersey of Keith Ch 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 Chuck, number seven. I got that many years ago at the TD Garden um, Pro Shop, the Bruins Pro Shop, when they were get, giving giving away um, um out of market teams because they weren't selling at all. I got it for only about twenty dollars because they were getting rid of every out of market team. Some of them were going for very, very low and stuff. And Keith Kachuk's um, stats are as follows: five hundred and thirty-eight goals, five hundred and twenty-seven assists, one thousand and sixty-five points during the regular season. He had exactly twenty-eight goals, twenty-eight assists. For 56 points in the playoffs. And he's also in the arena of honor for the Phoenix Coyotes. And is Keith Kachuk a Hockey Hall of Famer? With his stats being a 500 gold scorer, he should be a Hockey Hall of Famer. He's second for all time goal scored by an American born player with 538 behind Mike Madonna. He's already in the United States Hockey Hall of Fame. And he's been eligible for the Hockey Hall of Fame since 2013, but he hasn't gotten any serious consideration. But with Phil Housley getting elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame this year, this could open up the floodgates for Keith Church to Chuck next year or in years after. And I think eventually Keith Chuck will go into the Hockey Hall of Fame maybe next year or maybe 2017 because he deserves to go in the Hockey Hall of Fame. That's about it on that. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Tomorrow, three more video blogs coming your way. First video blog will be about the 10 greatest movies that should never be re remade or rebooted.
second video blog will be about Ron Simmons' WCW World Tire Reign in 1992. Tell you about the story about that and what I thought about it. Damn! And the third and final video blog of the night will be about who should get the 2016 Kirk Gowdy Media Award for Pro Basketball um, Hall of Fame Broadcasting Excellence. I'm going to nominate Mike Breen, who's the um, play-by-play announcer of the New York Knicks on MSG Network, and ABC and, e and ESPN's number one NBA announcer. And lots more video blogs coming up. And Saturday, it's going to be the person I the profiles return with Terry Funk, the WWE Hall of Famer. You egg-sucking dogs, you dusty roads. And don't forget, um... In a few more weeks, August 15th is my first ever Q&A video blog. So Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, send in questions. I have a few already. I want more, more, more. Send me any questions you want. It will get answered. And see you tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Like I always say, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt, Fox 35 Rocks. And in the words of... Chris Berman. He goes back, 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 back,